All right, everyone, this is a uh, quick demo of the new, not the new, but the new to me, Tech 21 Fly Rig 5. What I have set up here is my Electribe EA1 <clears throat> running into the Fly Rig and then into my mixer. Uh, everything's pretty dry, so right now, if you look at it, um, I'll throw up an oscilloscope screen here too. I basically just have a dry sine wave. back over to a triangle too just for comparison and uh, what I'll do is I'll just kind of quickly go through each of the effects on the fly rig and to see how they uh, kind of affect the audio so first up on the fly rig on the right hand side we have what's labeled as hot in this plexi section to pop that on basically you just have this one option um, predominantly what this seems to be doing is just some sort of gain level doesn't seem to be doing a ton of overdrive. Next up is what basically they have set up as their overdrive. You got this level, uh, the tone, and then the drive level. The only kind of criticism I have in this, it does drive quite a bit of white noise um, when you crank it up. You can really kind of hear the noise gate on it. Next we got the SANS amp, which is kind of the amp emulation section. Um, what's cool about this is there is a reverb section on here, and then you've got some kind of uh, amp modulation going. So um, I'll kind of turn this reverb down. And this is what I think really adds the best character um, to the synth. The EA1's kind of very synthetic, uh, digital sounding synth. some nice character I think. Turn the reverb up just a little bit. And this is more of like a spring reverb. It doesn't have that big hall or echoey sound. So it actually works really well if you're still putting a reverb kind of on your master mix. Finally, over here, we got um, a delay section. Which is actually a pretty nice sounding delay. You can hear it is kind of digital as you pull it back. But it doesn't step, it actually is pretty clean. Um, one cool feature on this is it's got this drift feature, so they kind of go back when it's low in time, but if you crank it back up, there's a little bit of sway that you can hear there. And then there's a tap tempo function on the right-hand side, which I don't use too much, but um, you kind of turn these on. Backing up, we just have the amp now. Let's play the filter on the synth. And then I'll just throw this on. Play a little bit of line here. This is just a quick little C and G acid line I put together.
distortion that's really going to drive the synth but it adds some nice kind of just color and character. Uh, I got my DS1 over here which I need to throw in through it. I'm sure that'll add some really nice distortion and throw it. I think it's a great one to throw in your rig if anybody's really into using uh, guitar pedals with their synths. 